Once upon a time, in the heart of ancient Greece, nestled amidst the rugged slopes of Mount Parnassus, resided the legendary oracle of Delphi. People from far and wide, from humble farmers to mighty kings, would make the arduous journey to seek her wisdom. They sought her guidance on matters of great import, war and peace, love and loss, life and death. The oracle's pronouncements, often cryptic and veiled, held the power to shape destinies to alter the course of history. But what was the source of the oracle's profound insights? What secrets did she possess that enabled her to see through the mists of time and offer such profound guidance? The answer, according to ancient wisdom, lay in a simple yet powerful practice, self-reflection. Before consulting the oracle, Supplicants were required to purify themselves in the sacred Castalian Spring, a ritual not just of the body but of the mind. It was in the stillness of this sacred space, gazing upon their reflections in the clear water, that individuals were encouraged to look inwards, to examine their own hearts and minds. This practice of deep introspection, of turning one's gaze inwards, was considered a prerequisite for receiving wisdom. The ancients understood that true knowledge begins with self-knowledge, to navigate the complexities of life, to make sound judgments, to lead others effectively, one must first understand oneself. One's strengths and weaknesses, one's values and aspirations. And so, before we embark on our journey to mastering the annual appraisal, let us take a leaf out of the ancient Greeks book. Let us embrace the power of self-reflection. For it is in the quiet contemplation of our own experiences that we can begin to unlock the secrets to personal and professional growth. In the tapestry of our careers, annual appraisals are threads, seemingly small yet significant, that contribute to the overall design. They are not mere formalities, tedious obligations to be endured. Instead, they are opportunities. Much like the ancient pilgrimage to Delphi, to seek guidance, to gain clarity, and to shape the course of our professional journeys. These structured conversations with our superiors offer a valuable platform for reflection, feedback, and growth. They provide a chance to step back from the day-to-day -day grind, to assess our progress, and to align our efforts with the larger goals of the organization. Just as a skilled artisan regularly examines and hones their tools, so too must we, as professionals, engage in this process of review and refinement to perform at our best. Research by Gallup in 2023 highlights that employees who receive regular feedback and have opportunities for growth are more engaged, productive and likely to stay with their organisations. The annual appraisal, therefore, is not just a tool for evaluation, but also one for motivation and retention. When approached with the right mindset, it can be a powerful catalyst for career progression, unlocking new opportunities and propelling us towards our professional aspirations. However, just as the oracle of Delphi's pronouncements required careful interpretation, so too do annual appraisals require preparation and understanding to be truly beneficial. We must approach them not with fear or apprehension, but with a spirit of openness, a willingness to learn and a desire to grow. Imagine, if you will, a seasoned general preparing for battle in the ancient world. He wouldn't, my friends, simply march his troops into the fray without a carefully considered plan. He would first engage in a thorough assessment of the terrain, identifying strengths and weaknesses, opportunities and threats. This, my friends, is the very essence of self-assessment. Before stepping onto the battlefield of your annual appraisal, you must first know your terrain. This means taking stock of your skills and accomplishments, acknowledging areas where you excel and those where you might need to bolster your defenses. 
Remember, knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. Aristotle, begin by reviewing your job description, those sacred scrolls outlining your duties and responsibilities. Reflect upon your performance over the past year. Where have you triumphed? Where have you faced challenges? This honest self-appraisal, devoid of self-deception, is crucial for identifying your strengths and areas for development. Remember, my friends, self-awareness is not about self-criticism, but about self-improvement. It is about recognizing that we are all works in progress, constantly evolving and striving for excellence. Just as a skilled artisan takes pride in honing their craft, so too should we approach our professional development with a commitment to continuous learning and growth. In the annals of Greek mythology, Jason and his band of heroes, the Argonauts, embarked on a perilous quest for the Golden Fleece. Their journey, fraught with danger and uncertainty, serves as a powerful metaphor for the importance of setting goals. Before setting sail, Jason and his crew clearly defined their objective to retrieve the Golden Fleece and return home victorious. Similarly, as you prepare for your annual appraisal, it is crucial to set sail with clear goals in mind. These goals, much like the stars that guided the Argonauts, will provide you with direction and motivation. They will serve as benchmarks against which you can measure your progress and celebrate your achievements. Start by revisiting your long-term career aspirations. Where do you see yourself in 5, 10 or even 20 years? Once you have a clear vision of your destination, you can start charting a course, setting smaller, more achievable goals that will lead you towards your ultimate objective. Remember, our goals can only be reached through a vehicle of a plan in which we must fervently believe and upon which we must vigorously act. There is no other route to success. Pablo Picasso. In the vast ocean of our careers, it's all too easy to drift aimlessly, buffeted by the winds and currents of circumstance. Just as a skilled navigator uses the stars to chart their course, so too must we align our personal and professional aspirations to ensure we're sailing in the right direction. This means identifying how your personal goals, be it pursuing further education, achieving a better work-life balance, or developing a specific skill set can complement your professional growth. It's about finding that sweet spot where your passions intersect with the needs of the organization. Consider, for example, a talented artist working in a design firm. Their personal goal might be to master a new animation software. By aligning this with their professional goals, they could propose utilizing this software for upcoming projects, thus enhancing their skills while adding value to the company. This alignment, my friends, is not about sacrificing your personal aspirations for the sake of your career, nor is it about pursuing personal gain at the expense of your professional responsibilities. It's about finding that harmonious balance that synergy where both can thrive. As the ancient Greek philosopher Heraclitus wisely observed, good character is not formed in a week or a month. It is created little by little, day by day. Protracted and patient effort is needed to develop good character. Let us journey back to the bustling heart of ancient Athens, to the Agora, a place not only of commerce but also of vibrant discourse and debate. Here, amidst the clamour of merchants and the pronouncements of philosophers, ideas were exchanged, perspectives were challenged and wisdom was gleaned from the crucible of open dialogue. Just as the citizens of Athens gathered in the Agora to share their thoughts and opinions, so too must you, my friends, actively seek feedback from your colleagues, your supervisors, and even those you mentor. This, my friends, is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to your commitment to growth. 
The greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall, said Nelson Mandela. Approach your colleagues and supervisors with humility and a genuine desire to learn. Ask them for their honest assessment of your strengths and areas for development. How can you improve your performance? What steps can you take to enhance your contribution to the team? Remember, my friends, feedback is a gift, albeit one that may sometimes come wrapped in less than appealing packaging. It is through the honest reflection of others that we can polish our rough edges, refine our skills and ultimately become the best versions of ourselves. Imagine, if you will, the grandeur of the ancient library of Alexandria, a repository of scrolls containing the accumulated knowledge of the ancient world. Within its hallowed halls, scholars and historians meticulously documented their discoveries, preserving their wisdom for generations to come. Likewise, my friends, it's incumbent upon you to become the chroniclers of your own success. Just as a scribe meticulously records the details of a king's reign, so too must you document your achievements, your contributions, and the impact you've made within your organization. The palest ink is more reliable than the most powerful memory, goes a Chinese proverb. Maintain a dedicated file, a digital or physical chronicle of your accomplishments. Record your successes, both big and small. Note down positive feedback you receive, projects you've spearheaded, and any instances where you've gone above and beyond the call of duty. This, my friends, is not about boasting or self-aggrandizement. It's about creating a tangible record of your contributions, a testament to your value within the organization. This chronicle of your triumphs will prove invaluable during your appraisal. It will serve as a reminder of your achievements, providing concrete examples to support your case and demonstrate your worth. In the myths and legends of old, heroes often sought guidance from wise oracles and mentors, individuals who possessed deep wisdom and could offer insights to navigate life's challenges. Think, for instance, of Odysseus seeking counsel from the blind prophet Tiresias, or King Arthur learning from the sagacious Merlin. Similarly, as you prepare for your appraisal, don't hesitate to seek guidance from mentors and trusted advisors within your organization. These modern-day oracles can provide invaluable insights, offering advice on how to navigate the appraisal process effectively and advocate for your professional growth. Identify individuals within your organization who you admire, those who have achieved success and whose opinions you value. Reach out to them expressing your desire to learn from their experience. Seek their advice on how to best prepare for your appraisal, how to effectively communicate your accomplishments, and how to navigate any challenges that may arise. Remember, my friends, a mentor is someone who sees more talent and ability within you than you see in yourself and helps bring it out of you. Bob Proctor. A good mentor can provide invaluable support, guidance and encouragement throughout your career journey. Let us now travel back in time, my friends, to the era of the mighty Roman Empire. Picture, if you will, the legendary Roman legions, those disciplined and formidable warriors who conquered vast territories and forged an empire that spanned continents. What was the secret to their unparalleled success? Was it superior weaponry? Was it brute strength? While these factors undoubtedly played a role, the true source of their power lay in their unwavering unity, their shared commitment to a common goal. Just as each legionnaire from the lowliest foot soldier to the most decorated centurion, understood their role in the grand strategy, so too must you, my friends, align your personal goals with the overarching objectives of your organization. This alignment, this shared vision, is what transforms individual efforts into collective triumphs.
Imagine a skilled charioteer racing across the vast expanse of the night sky, his chariot pulled by powerful steeds. He doesn't rely solely on brute force, on urging his horses forward blindly. No, my friends, he looks to the stars using their celestial patterns, their unwavering positions to guide his path, to ensure he's heading in the right direction. Similarly, as you navigate the course of your career, you must learn to align your chariot with the stars, to link your personal growth aspirations with the overarching objectives of your company. This alignment, my friends, is not about sacrificing your individual ambitions on the altar of corporate goals. It's about finding that sweet spot, that harmonious convergence, where your personal growth trajectory intersects with the path to organizational success. How then do you achieve this alignment, this celestial harmony? Start by familiarizing yourself with your company's mission statement, its strategic goals, its long-term vision. Just as a skilled navigator relies on charts and compasses to plot their course, so too must you understand the direction your organization is heading in order to chart your own path within it. Once you've gained clarity on the bigger picture, examine your own goals, your aspirations for professional development, and identify areas where they intersect with the company's objectives. Perhaps there's a new skill you've been eager to develop, one that aligns perfectly with a key initiative your company is undertaking. Or maybe there's a project you've been eager to spearhead, one that aligns with your passion for innovation and your company's desire to stay ahead of the curve. In the grand tapestry of human endeavour, my friends, some of the most remarkable achievements, the most awe-inspiring feats of ingenuity and collaboration, have been the result of a shared vision, a collective striving towards a common goal. Think, for instance, of the construction of the Great Pyramids of Giza, those monumental testaments to human ambition and architectural prowess. Do you believe for a moment that those colossal structures could have been erected by individuals working in isolation, each pursuing their own agendas? No, my friends, it was the shared vision, the unwavering belief in a common goal that fueled their efforts, that transformed seemingly insurmountable challenges into awe-inspiring triumphs. Similarly, in the modern workplace, when individuals align their personal goals with the overarching objectives of the organization, a powerful synergy is created, one that benefits both the individual and the collective. When you, as an individual contributor, understand how your work, your efforts, your aspirations contribute to the greater good, it infuses your work with purpose, with meaning, with a sense of belonging. And for the organization, this alignment translates into increased productivity, enhanced innovation, and a more engaged and motivated workforce. When everyone is rowing in the same direction, my friends, the ship moves faster. It navigates storms more effectively, and it reaches its destination with greater speed and efficiency. Remember, my friends, the strength of the team is each individual member. The strength of each member is the team. Phil Jackson. Transport yourselves, my friends, to the heart of ancient Rome, to the bustling forum, a place not just of commerce, but the epicenter of Roman oratory. Here, amidst the echoes of empires and the whispers of history, great orators like Cicero held audiences spellbound, their words shaping public opinion, swaying hearts and minds. They understood that it wasn't just the message, but the delivery, the art of self-presentation that made their arguments compelling, unforgettable. Similarly, my friends, your annual appraisal is your opportunity to take to the forum, to articulate your value, to present your case with conviction and clarity. It's not a time for false modesty or downplaying your achievements. Remember, 
The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra, Jimmy Johnson. Just as a master sculptor chisels away at stone to reveal the masterpiece within, so too must you carefully craft your message, highlighting your key accomplishments, your contributions to the team. Structure your thoughts logically, using clear and concise language, ensuring your points resonate with your audience. Remember, your appraisal isn't just about reciting a list of tasks completed. It's about showcasing your value, demonstrating how your contributions have impacted the team, the department and the organisation as a whole. It's about painting a vivid picture of your professional journey, your growth, your commitment to excellence. Let us gather, my friends, around a flickering fire, much like our ancestors did millennia ago, drawn together by the warmth of shared stories. For since time immemorial, humans have been hardwired to respond to narratives, to find meaning and connection in the art of storytelling. The ancient Greeks, masters of drama and epic poetry, understood the power of narratives to move, to inspire, to persuade. Similarly, my friends, as you prepare for your appraisal, consider weaving your accomplishments into a compelling narrative. Don't just present a dry list of bullet points. Instead, engage your audience with stories. Stories are the most powerful weapon in a leader's arsenal. Howard Gardner. For example, instead of simply stating that you exceeded your sales target, share a story about a challenging client you successfully converted, highlighting your problem-solving skills and tenacity. Or, instead of merely mentioning that you mentored a new team member, Recount a specific instance where your guidance led to their success, showcasing your leadership qualities. Remember, stories have the power to transform dry data into memorable experiences. They create an emotional connection, making your accomplishments more relatable, more impactful. So as you prepare for your appraisal, channel your inner Homer, your inner Aesop, and weave your successes into narratives that will captivate your audience. Imagine, if you will, a Roman emperor standing tall and proud, addressing his legions before a pivotal battle. His voice, though firm and commanding, carries a sense of calm assurance, inspiring confidence in his troops. He speaks with clarity, his words leaving no room for ambiguity, ensuring his message is received and understood. Similarly, my friends, your demeanor during your appraisal is as important as the words you speak. It's about projecting confidence, not arrogance, but a quiet assurance in your abilities and your contributions. Confidence is contagious. So is lack of confidence, Vince Lombardi once said. Maintain eye contact with your appraiser, demonstrating your engagement and sincerity. Speak clearly and at a moderate pace, ensuring your words are well articulated and easily understood. Remember, my friends, your body language speaks volumes. Sit or stand upright, projecting an air of professionalism and self-assuredness. Avoid fidgeting or nervous gestures, as these can detract from your message. Channel the composure of a Roman emperor and your confidence will shine through. Take a moment, my friends, and envision the grandeur of the Pantheon in Rome, a testament to the architectural genius of the ancients. Each carefully placed column, each intricately carved relief, each ray of sunlight streaming through the oculus, speaks to a legacy of achievement, a celebration of human ingenuity. And so it is, my friends, with your own career journey. Each successful project completed, each challenging skill mastered, each innovative idea implemented adds a brick to the pantheon of your achievements. Your annual appraisal is not merely a time for assessment, but a moment to acknowledge your triumphs, to celebrate the milestones you've reached, the obstacles you've overcome. Just as the ancient Romans honoured their heroes with monuments and accolades, so too should you acknowledge your own professional victories. Reflect on the past year with a sense of pride. 
Remember the challenges you faced, the dedication you displayed, the moments where you went above and beyond. These victories, my friends, no matter how small they may seem, are the building blocks of your career, the foundations upon which future successes will be built. So celebrate them. Share them with your loved ones, with your colleagues, with those who have supported you along the way. For in recognising our achievements, we not only acknowledge our past efforts, but also ignite the fire of ambition for future endeavours. My friends, I understand that navigating the intricacies of the annual appraisal process can sometimes feel like traversing a labyrinth. Filled with twists and turns, potential pitfalls and unforeseen challenges, but fear not, for you don't have to embark on this journey alone. Here at M. Joga Coaching and Consulting, we are your trusted allies, your seasoned guides in the realm of career advancement. Just as the ancient Greeks sought wisdom from the Oracle of Delphi, so too can you rely on our expertise, our insights gleaned from years of experience, to help you navigate the appraisal process with confidence and achieve the outcomes you desire. Dr. Joga, much like the wise mentors of old, is dedicated to providing you with the tools, strategies, and support you need to prepare for your appraisal with unwavering confidence. We'll work with you one-on-one, -on -one, delving into your unique strengths, identifying areas for growth, and crafting a compelling narrative that showcases your value to your organization. Remember, my friends, preparation is the key to success. Just as a skilled archer carefully selects their arrows and practices their aim, so too must you approach your appraisal with a well-defined strategy and a clear understanding of your goals. And that's where Mjoga Coaching and Consulting comes in. We'll be your trusted advisors, your sounding board, your champions as you strive to reach your full potential. My friends, are you ready to take control of your career destiny? Are you ready to transform your annual appraisal from a source of anxiety into an opportunity for advancement? I invite you today to take the first step towards unlocking your full potential by booking a complimentary career breakthrough call with M. Joga Coaching and Consulting. This is your chance, my friends, to connect with Dr. Joga to discuss your unique career aspirations and to discover how we can help you achieve appraisal success. During this complimentary call, we'll explore your career goals, identify any roadblocks that may be hindering your progress and provide you with actionable strategies to elevate your performance and maximize your potential. This, my friends, is not just a call. It's an investment in your future a commitment to your professional growth. So, why wait? Click on our Calendly link now to schedule your complimentary career breakthrough call. Remember, my friends, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. Chinese proverb. As we conclude our journey through the annals of history, seeking wisdom from the ancients to guide us in our modern lives, let us remember the words of the great philosopher Socrates. The unexamined life is not worth living. My friends, embrace the opportunity that your annual appraisal presents. Use it as a time for reflection, for self-assessment, for strategic planning. Remember the lessons we've gleaned from the past the importance of preparation, the power of self-belief, and the value of aligning your personal aspirations with the goals of your organization. And know this, my friends, the journey to career success is not a solitary one. M. Joga. Coaching and consulting is here to support you every step of the way, to guide you towards achieving your full potential and creating a career that is both fulfilling and rewarding. Begin with the end in mind. Stephen Covey, 
The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People.